All right, we're live here at Roos Field, Eastern Washington, getting in their first practice of the spring gear here at Roos Field. Now the Eagles are coming off a six and five regular season, but have won six of their last seven games last year. Eastern returns eight starters on each side of the ball with several key players returning in wide receivers, Brandon Kaufman and Nicholas Edwards and linebacker Zach Johnson. The key hole though to field this year is that quarterback as the Eags lost Walter Payton Award winner Bo Levi Mitchell to graduation. But for now, it's just nice to get on the field. It can get long, you know, and our guys work really hard, but you're in the weight room, you're in winter conditioning, you know, it's dark out, you know, it's, it's, it gets long, so it's always just refreshing to start spring football. Couldn't really sleep last night. Classes seemed like they were taking forever today, and then I had a huge gap in between classes and practice and got in the locker room two hours early before practice, you know, making sure your cleats still fit right. So the excitement level is definitely, it's pretty high out here amongst the entire team. Well, on the ice, the Spokane Chiefs gearing up for round two of the WHL playoffs against Tri City this Friday. Now, this is the second straight year these two teams will meet, and the sixth time ever game one is set for again this Friday in Kennewick. But it's nice to have a couple of days of rest before the tough games ahead. It's emotional, but we, we've got some time here. Um, you know, the next series doesn't get going till uh, the end of the week, and um, you know, we've got to rest some guys. We've, we've got some bumps and bruises. Uh, they're going to come hard. You know, they've played us tough all year. Um, you know, we got to keep the, our game going. Uh, you know, four track hard, good uh, in the defensive zone, and uh, you know, grind it out. They're a great team. Uh, we're used to them. You know, we played them a lot during the season, and uh, we just got to be ready for their uh, their best effort out there. College basketball and Washington guard Tony Roten announced today he will declare for the NBA draft and hire an agent, ending his college career after one season, during which he was the Pac-12 freshman of the year. He averaged 16 points per game for the season and he shot 44% on the year. And the Big Sky's two-time MVP Damian Lillard will forego his senior year to enter the draft. He's averaging over 24 points, five rebounds and four assists. He's projected to go as high as number nine in June's draft. The Mariners lost to Colorado 9 to 8 today in Cactus League play, but we leave you tonight with a live look at the Gonzaga baseball game as the Bulldogs gearing up to take on Washington State right now on SWX. One and one.